another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince and I'm Army Veteran. And today I'm talking about the VA claim backlog expecting to grow to 400K largely due to the PAC Act. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk here on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and ready for more content. And if you're a veteran and love to share your story or resource for veterans and a non-veteran who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that I've gotten all that good stuff out the way, man, let's get into this topic, man. So today I want y'all to understand that many veterans are waiting for the VA composition claim to be approved due to the backlog potentially growing up to 400K in the next year. This may keep many veterans waiting to keep up with the huge workload of more than 100,000 claims Back in 2017, the VA instituted mandatory overtime that required VA workers to work up to 20 hours a month to help speed up the process. According to VA um, VA Undersecretary of Benefits Joshua Jacob, the VA planned to suspend the mandatory overtime in July and August of this year to accommodate um, vacation plans and reduce staff burnout. As of May 12th of 2023, the VA processed roughly 252,000 of its 546,000 claims filed by veterans. Nearly 80% of the claims decision resulted in an approval of one or more conditions. The VA also stated that 14,000 survivors of veterans who had been eligible for a disability compensation under the PAC Act have filed claims as well. So if you're a veteran, um, survivor, please make sure that you go file for this claim, man. Don't let this opportunity pass you down, pass you by for you to be compensated for your loved one who may have passed or gone, you know, passed and one of their conditions was due to one of the things listed under the packet, which means if you are a family member of a veteran who died before the packet came out, you have a chance of service connecting their previous claims. The VA is encouraging veterans who believe they may have a condition related to overseas exposure to burn pits, Agent Orange, radiation, and other substances noted in the PAC Act to file a claim by August 9th, 2023, so that their disability compensation can be backdated to August 10th of 2022. So please make sure that you do this, man. And I want you to also know that VA Undersecretary of Benefits, Jacob, said he want all eligible veterans to know that they may, they will be able to file claims under the PAC Act at any time should they develop an illness listed in the legislation or determined to be associated with the toxic exposure. So please don't let this opportunity pass you by for you to be taken care of, for your family to be taken care of. If you don't know what the PAC Act is, please go and look at some of my videos. I did a video explaining to you a little bit about the PAC Act. There are tons of videos out there um, where people are talking about the PAC Act. You can go to va.gov and you can find actual information that's up to date, that's from the press mouth, the VA, and you can, you know, get this um, ball rolling in your court, on your court. So please don't allow yourselves to um, sit back and miss out on the opportunity for not only your health to get better, but for your pockets to get better too. So, you know, as I always say, this has been another episode of Vet Talk with your boy, Brother Vince. Vet Talk out.